Hey, what's up, buddy? Welcome back to the 44th episode of the Audio View Show. Now, I like to basically apologize for a few things, and basically, the apologies are for lack of videos lately for this channel for the last couple of days. That was because I felt sick, you know, over the last couple of days, over the last couple of days, and you probably can hear me right now. I'm still feeling like crap, but I'm starting to get better on per day and all that. Like during the mornings, I feel better, and then night times I get better, get worse. But today I feel more better than any other day. And <clears throat> and second of all, um, I also like to say about what happened to last week on the review show. I should have recorded this. This was not supposed to be episode 44. This was supposed to be 45. However, I want to tell you guys a bit of a. I want to tell you guys what happened basically. So basically last week I went to my local Extreme Gaming to just to help out for a bit because you know I'm a nice guy I like to help out from time to time and my friend uh, my friend Josh Pinkfit Josh he said to me why don't you stay to eight and you know I can help you make a banner for the for the channel and you have so for the review show and I thought okay I'll do that so he made my he made my like banner for wood reviews and if you guys haven't seen it on my channel. Just go to my channel, go to my actual channel, it's there which says Wood Reviews in the colour. It was supposed to be WR, now it's Wood Reviews. Then, basically, um, we I recorded it, the video was 27 minutes long, but we cut it down to like 4 or 5 minutes. And my friend said, nice, uh, once we get edit, finish editing, finishing editing this, then we'll upload, upload it sometime Monday or Tuesday. So, I was waiting for those two days, and I'm thinking, I always check my channel up to see if it's there. And then... A few days went by and I was like, I don't think he's going to upload this, but I like to ask him, and it was yesterday on Friday, I asked him, are you bothered to make me to up the upload or update this video? And he said that he's been really busy with college and all that, and I thought to myself, okay, I actually respect him for this one, because I know he has college, I know he's been working a lot during his, uh, during his course and all that, so what I want to really do is... Once he gets the video done and all that, I will try and upload it as another episode of Ultra Review Show, but like in an actual 44 episode. But that's basically the main story, and also that lack of videos lately has just been me being sick and all that. So back to the Ultra Review Show, because I think I'm mumbled a lot lately. I'm only going to be talking about four new stories because I just don't feel great still, and I want to rest my voice up, voice up and all that for next week's Ultra Review Show, which will hopefully, fingers crossed, be better. So without further ado, guys. Let's get the first news story, shall we? So the first news story today, guys, and this is for everyone who's a massive fan of LEGO. There has been a new announcement in the LEGO Star Wars series called LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, I'm actually kind of excited for this, but here's the thing I'd like to tell you guys. Uh, as a kid, I'm not a huge LEGO fan, but I'm starting to get, I'm starting to grow it and better, I mean, more and more during each year. However, I like to say it about Star Wars The Force Awakens. I have seen it. Many people saying, have you seen the film? And I have seen it. I've seen it on launch night. And I want to see it, I want to see it again, but I kind of see it, I want to see it again on DVD now. But, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, I am honestly quite excited for this. And I think this will probably be the first Lego game I've probably played since after the original Lego Star Wars game. But, we also have a release date for this game, which is June 28th. So that will be your calendars for Mark if you're a huge massive fan of LEGO. So more news stories on LEGO Star Wars as we speak. Next news story today guys, we have a brand new announcement that we have got something called Battalion 1944. And this was this is basically a, a first person shooter World War 2 game. And I can't, I can't remember the last time I played a World War 2 game and that was probably World of War. And that get and World War for, for me was one of my favorite World War Two games. But however, B Battalion 1944 looks interesting. It might be something I might be on my radar, and I might try it out when it comes to release soon. But it hasn't got a release date. But it will be coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. So every single next generation version of consoles, which is awesome. However, yeah, that's all we got at the moment. Um, more new stories on Battalion 1944 as we speak. The next news story there guys, and I'm excited to just announce this, but they Doom has released a new campaign trailer and oh my god, it looks amazing. Even that, 
just the whole way you can just kill kill demons and all that, it makes me feel like I want to play this game. And even that, they have it also has a release date worldwide May 13th, and I cannot wait for Doom. And I have to tell you guys this before I actually go on to the next thing that you guys may be jealous of this, but I was fortunate enough to play the alpha of Doom, and oh my god, I gotta say this, it is so good. Um, it's fast paced, it was just, just superb, you know, for the online side. I know it's the alpha, so there's going to be bugs and tests and all that, but it feels like it was, it was actually finished, to my, to my degree and all that. However, I couldn't show any gameplay of it, which was like, because if I do, I would get banned from Doom's, uh, you know, online stuff and all that. So I thought, be safe and just talk, talk to you guys about it. Now, continuing with Doom, <coughs> Um, there's also, they, they also announced a collector's edition of Doom, which basically is going to be a 12-inch statue of the Revan Demon, which is quite nice, a metal case and some add-on stuff, which is quite nice. You can you guys can now pre-order that right now, but hurry, uh, pre-order stocks may will last for as long as it will be. However, more new stories on Doom, because I'm excited to talk more about it as we speak. So the final news story today, guys, we've got something about GTA 5. GTA 5 has sold over 60 million units worldwide, or 60 million copies worldwide, if you want to be a little bit, just like, what is units? Basically, it's just like, how many have been shipped? But copies is also different as well. And if you guys want to know, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4. Three out of the 60 million I have owned for the last couple of years. I've got the... I've got the 360 version a couple weeks ago, not a couple weeks ago, about a month and a bit ago, and I got this one for Christmas. And I got this one on launch day, which is awesome. And I just love GTA 5 from start to finish. And do you know what? If you guys want to play GTA with me online, I will show you guys, my, I'll tell you guys my details in the description below. So, more new stories on GTA 5 as we speak. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that. All of my social media links will be in the description below because, you know, I don't feel great and I can't talk to you guys about them. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I'll be back in bed with a throat and all that. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Stay peeps. Bye bye.